we're back again with our Sunday series of the backstories of our uh, favorite hymns. Um, give me a like, comment, subscribe uh, to see more. Um, and just let me know in the comments if this is something you want me to keep doing. Or if you have any suggestions on which hymns you want me to play and give you the backstory of. Let me know in the comments. So, this week's... Uh, him is going to be Just As I Am, written in 1836 by a Miss Charlotte Elliott. And we're doing the traditional version, not the contemporary, um, obviously. But to get right into the story, Charlotte Elliott was an angry young woman. She had a lot of problems, um... A lot of health difficulties, trials, which hardened her heart, made her very bitter toward God and um, preachers and anything related to religion. Um, her family, however, were devout Christians, and they reached out to a, a Swiss minister, a Dr. Caesar Milan, uh, who was visiting um, the Elliots in England or was visiting England, the Elliots invited him to their home. And yes, I'm getting my information from my trusty friend, Sings My Soul, by Robert J. Morgan. Um, but I also heard it from um, an evangelist who came to my church last year, I believe it was. It was last year. I can't remember who the evangelist was. Probably Rob Hicks. But, um... Right now, I'm just refreshing my memory through reading Then Sings My Soul. But the Swiss minister, Dr. Caesar Milan, who was visiting, um, doing kind of evangelistic re revival meetings uh, in England, where the Elliots lived, um, came over, he came over to visit. But he accepted the Elliots' invitation to come see their daughter and to hopefully be able to talk to her and see where she was at, um, so they invited him over for dinner, which ended up not really being a mistake, but they thought it would be a mistake, because there, um, Charlotte had had a anger, temper, flare-up, I guess. It wasn't really a temper tantrum, but she had an angry outburst which embarrassed her family, um, so they were apologizing profusely to the Swiss minister, but he was like, don't worry about it, here, if you would, please excuse us, and he wanted to talk to Charlotte alone, and essentially in that conversation they had alone, he told her, you're, you're tired of yourself. You're tired of living with the anger, the bitterness, um, and just not being able to make it through the day. I think she may have had a little bit of a depression as well, although um, hers was more anger, um, anxiety, and bitterness. Throughout the conversation, the walls around Charlotte Elliott's heart started coming down. And she asked, well, you seem so smart. What's the cure for me? What's the cure of my anger? My bitterness? And Dr. Caesar Milan, the Swiss minister, told her, go to Jesus, just as you are. Do, do you really mean I can come just as I am? And... He's like, yes, he'll meet you there, and he will take you farther. He told her, you would give yourself to God just as you are now, with your fightings and fears, hates and loves, pride and shame. And she did. She went to Jesus that night. And she claimed John six thirty seven, He who cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Years later, her brother who actually became a minister himself, 
was trying to raise funds for um, an orphanage that he was starting. In order to help her brother out, she decided to sell some of her poems that she had written. And one of them was text to Just As I Am. She wrote about 150 hymns throughout her lifetime, but Just As I Am is one of her most beloved. She never really enjoyed good health. Um, however, she was able to claim enjoyment and peace through Jesus because she came just as she was. So, and that really leads me into this statement. Um, I, w I feel convicted that I have not shared um, the plan of salvation on my uh, channel. Yes, I do a lot of hymns, which is churchy, I guess. But more than that is a relationship with Christ. You can come just as you are, just as Charlotte Elliott did, with all her bitterness and anger and hatred and self-pity and low self-esteem. You can come just as you are. And I, Jesus will accept you. He that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. He wants you. He's begging you. So, we can go over, yes, all the bad things we do is sin. And sin is what separates us from God. But the good thing is, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He bore the penalty for us so we could come just as we are with all of our hurt and our sin. And he will forgive us. So if you are ready to accept his free gift of salvation. Oh, one other thing. Jesus not only died for our sins, he arose. He was... He conquered death and hell so that we can live forever with him in heaven, but only if we accept him as our Lord and Savior and ask him into his heart. So if this is something you want to do, just pray this little prayer. It's very simple. You don't even have to use the same exact words as I do. But something along the lines of, Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner, and I know that my sin separates me from you. I don't want to be separated from you anymore. I want to come just as I am. I lay down all of my hurt, my anger, my bitterness, my sadness, my depression. Fill in the blank. I lay down all of my sins down at your feet and beg you to forgive me and come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. And in Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer, let me know. Sorry, my mom just went out. Let me know in the comments if you prayed that prayer um, so that I know and can rejoice with you. All heaven rejoices over just one soul who accepts Christ as their Lord and Savior. So let me know. I want to be rejoicing with you, with all of heaven. Um, yeah, just let me know. And I'm going to play just as I am um, after I close the door. Because my mom got home and the dog is starting to freak out. Alrighty, here we are.
just as you are to Jesus, and he will forgive and cleanse and welcome you with open arms. Have a wonderful week. God bless.